Well, hello there. It's me, Nicholas. Uh, some people call me Santa Claus, Papa Noel. I have a lot of names. And, you know, one of the things I absolutely love to do is to share stories. Because you got to remember, Santa's very old. I'm 1,751 as of the last time I checked. And, you know, during those hundreds and hundreds of years, long before radio and television, you know what we did? We gathered around the fire or on a summer day, we would sit under a tree and we would share stories. And one of the things I love to do is to share stories around the holidays. Would you like to hear a story? I would like to share one of my favorite stories with you. It's a Ukrainian folktale called The Christmas Spider. Now, a long time ago, there was a mama, and this was long before Santa Claus was coming around to visit. There was a mama and she had two kids, a boy and a girl. And they were very good boy, a very good boy and girl. And they would, you know, be very helpful and everything, but they were very poor. Uh, it was just the mama and the two children, and they lived in a hut that was hardly anything with dirt floors. This was a long time ago. And uh, it was summer, and the little children were running in and out of the little hut, and one of them said, Mama, Mama, look! And what did they see? But a little tree was growing out of the dirt floor. And the mama said, Well, I'll, I'll, I'll go get something and cut it down. They said, No, Mama! No! We want to keep it. We want to have a tree in our house. Well, she didn't have a lot to give them, so she said, fine, whatever. And so they decided to have a little tree in their little tiny hut. Well, it got toward the fall and it got toward winter and that tree grew and grew and grew. And oh my goodness, wouldn't you know, it was a bit of magic. They had a full grown Christmas tree in their house for Christmas. How wonderful is that? But still, it was cold and wet and wishly and, and snowy outside. And the mom was very sad because that was back before I was going around dropping off presents and everything. And she didn't have much to give her little children. And so she was very sad. And Christmas Eve, she was just thinking about how sad they were going to be Christmas morning. Well, the little children were playing in the house. They looked up in the tree and said, Mama, Mama, look. There in the tree is a spider. And she went, ugh, I hate spiders. Now I have to tell you, there are good spiders and there are bad spiders, but spiders are generally pretty useful. And we want to keep them around if we can. And she went over and looked at that tree. And sure enough, in that tree was a spider. And it was very slowly crawling back and forth across the tree. And as it did, what do you think it was leaving? Webs beautiful beautiful webs back and forth it was decorating the christmas tree and she said i'm going to get a broom and the children said no mama can we please keep the spider please please and she said fine all right spider this christmas eve you get a reprieve stay in this tree and don't go anywhere else and the spider just kept going back and forth leaving beautiful webs and the children went to bed knowing they had their own Christmas decorator spider. And the mama curled up in her bed. And the next morning they got up and it was cold and wishly. Can you make that sound with me? It was cold and wishly. And oh my goodness. The mama got up and she got the fire going to warm the house. And started getting some water going to make some gruel. And she turned and looked. And the light was coming through the thin window that they had. And the light was coming through, and it was going right through the Christmas tree. And as it went through that Christmas tree, she looked, and the tree was covered in beautiful, beautiful gold and silver. And she went, oh, oh my goodness, look at how the morning light is making those webs look like gold and silver thread. And she kept going back to get her food hot so the children have something warm when they woke up. And the children got up and said, Mama, 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 it's Christmas morning. And she said, Yes, it is, darlings. And then the children said, Mama, Mama, look, on the tree is gold and silver thread. And she said, No, darlings, that's just that's just the, the, the light going through the through the spider web. They said, No, Mama, look. And the mother went over and she looked at the tree. And sure enough, all over the tree were beautiful beautiful long silver and gold threads 
Now, I don't know if you know this, but back then, oh my goodness, kings and queens and cardinals and bishops and people who are rich and powerful, they would take silver and gold thread and they would put it in their clothes and it would look just gorgeous. They would pay a lot of money for that. Well, she looked at that and she went, oh, it's a Christmas miracle. And the children went, it's a Christmas miracle. And she gathered up that thread and she wove it and spun it until she had a whole bunch of beautiful silver and gold thread. And she said, you children stay right here. And she went to the Christmas market and she took that silver and gold thread and she sold it and she got lots of money. And then you know what she did with that money? She bought food and presents and clothes and blankets and she brought them home and her arms were full and the children ate and they celebrated and they had a wonderful Christmas morning because of the Christmas spider. Now, do you think that mama went and got her broom and got rid of that spider? Nuh-uh. She was very happy to have that spider and that tree inside her house. And you know what? She kept that, that, that tree inside her house and she had enough money now to build a better house all around that tree and the tree stayed inside the house. And I'll tell you something, the next year on Christmas Eve, that spider came back and it started decorating the tree again. And the mama and the children, they celebrated and they welcomed it back and they were so happy. And for a total of three years, that Christmas spider came back. And all, every one of those Christmas mornings, the mama would get up and she would look, and the first light would come through on Christmas morning through the tree, and the webs would turn to beautiful silver and gold thread. And that mama and her two children, they were never poor and hungry again. What an amazing story. But you see, that's not the end of the story. You see, other people heard about this magical Christmas spider. And they went around and they tried to get Christmas spiders of their own. And they took ordinary spiders from all over the place and put them in the tree. And uh, things did not go as they expected. And those were not the magical Christmas spiders that we'd come to expect. And they were very disappointed. But you know what? They still kind of liked the idea of the Christmas spiders and the beauty of the story. And so people in that part of the world people in that part of the world to this very day in the Ukraine and Germany and places like that they make beautiful Christmas spiders beautiful beaded Christmas spiders and sometimes the people will take those Christmas spiders and hide them in the tree and the tradition is, the first person who sees that spider has good luck throughout the year. And so, you know, sometimes when I go to visit houses, people say, Santa, Santa, look, we found the Christmas spider. And I always say hi. And guess what? If you look on YouTube, you can find all sorts of handy crafts and ways that you can make Christmas spiders yourself. Yeah, out of gold uh, pipe cleaners and everything. And it's a, a wonderful way to have fun. And sometimes I give Christmas spiders too on Christmas Eve, you know, or people, I'll say, who likes spiders? And everybody goes, no! And I say, yes! And I give them Christmas spiders and they go, oh, they're, they're very cute. But anyway, that's the story, the traditional folktale called the Christmas spider. And I just want to say from me to you, all of you have a wonderful holiday season and may you have lots of magic and lots of love. I'll see you all soon. Ho, 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 I've got to go.